and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies in Soho. And today I thought I'd go back into my archives and actually do a recipe from my book, which has been out for a little while now. So if you haven't got this, then you are behind the times and you can actually get this from my website, cupcakegemma.com, or in store in my actual physical shop uh, that we sell them here. Um, this recipe from my book is the Banoffee Pie Cupcake Recipe, which is really good, but I'm actually going to make these mini cupcakes because you guys love a mini cupcake. It's really, really simple. I'm going to start by making the toffee. Now, I've got my pan here. The toffee is really simple. There's only three ingredients. I'm starting with 75 grams of soft brown sugar and also 75 grams of unsalted butter. And I'm just going to put that into a medium heat and get it going. And I'm going to keep stirring it all the time until all the sugar has dissolved. So if you're unsure about whether your sugar has dissolved yet, if you just get your spatula or your wooden spoon and just press it against the bottom of your pan, that's where you'll see any crystals still lingering. And if they're lingering, then you need to do it for a little bit longer. So that's all dissolved. Now I'm going to add some condensed milk. And I've got about half a tin. The tins are normally just under 400 grams. So I've got about 200 grams. And that goes in. And then I'm going to bring that to the boil. Um, and then simmer it for about three or four minutes, stirring it all the time. All right, it's a lovely, warm, toffee colour. It, it looks like toffee, it smells like toffee, so it's ready. And I'm just going to pour it, just to stop it cooking in the pan, I'm going to pour it into this bowl. And that just needs to sit all by itself, just to cool down, ready for when we need it. I'm just going to clear the decks and get on with making a sponge. Welcome back. Now it's time to make the sponge, but before I make the sponge, I'm going to do a buttery biscuit base. You guys should know I love a buttery biscuit base. Uh, obviously, this recipe is a kind of like a pie, but a cupcake version. This is like the equivalent of the pie base, I suppose. So I'm using digestive biscuits, which I've whizzed up in the food processor until they're really nice and fine. I've got 85 grams of that. I've also got a little bit of golden syrup, uh, just like half a tablespoon. I'm going to put that in. And I've also melted some butter. I'm going to put all the measurements in the description box below as well, so don't worry if you miss anything. So I'm just going to mix that all together really well until it resembles a kind of wet sand. And once that's really thoroughly mixed, you can put it into your mini cupcake cases. Now, I've got one tray which has got 24 holes. I've already lined them with mini paper cases. A lot of you guys ask me where we get our paper cases from. We actually get ours made by a massive paper manufacturer. So your best bet is to try all the different ones available to you and see which ones you like the most, uh, which is what we did <laughs> initially. Um, I'm also going to use a measuring teaspoon, and I'm going to put a teaspoon for each hole. And when it's all in, as usual, you want to pack that down with something that fits the hole. Uh, I'm going to be using this small rolling pin. <laughs> this is perfect for this particular size cupcake, which is just a mini rolling pin. You just pack them really tight. All right. So that's all my buttery biscuit bases ready. So I'm just going to put that to one side and get on with making the batter. So as usual, got my mixer here. This is a very small amount, so it would probably be a lot easier if I used a handheld mixer. So if you guys have one of those, that's brilliant. So I've got my soft unsalted butter. Pop that in. Get off, get off. And um, I have some self-raising flour, which I've already sifted. I've also got my bicarbonate of soda, just to give it a wee lift. And then I've got two types of sugar, dark brown sugar and caster sugar. That's going in. And the dark brown sugar is just going to give this whole thing a nice kind of caramelly flavour. Uh, what else have I got? Bananas. Now, this is a very important bit. So, I always use super duper ripe bananas. Uh, they want to be brown to black <laughs> when you're using them to get the most banana-y flavour possible. If you use them when they're too unripe, like too green or you know pale yellow, they're not going to have developed all the sugars and they're just going to be kind of a bit meh in banana flavour. So, got nice and brown and this is uh, just nearly a whole small banana. I'm just going to mash it up, which is super easy when it's really, really ripe. 
And once your banana is basically goopy and runny, that's just right. And that needs to go in as well, along with my trusty egg, large free range egg as usual. And then get that mixing on a medium speed just to bring it all together and mix it for about a minute. Mmm, smells really good. So now I'm just going to finish it off with a half a tablespoon of whole milk and then give that one last beat to mix it all together and then your batter's ready. And my batter is ready. So I'm going to get rid of my paddle and then distribute my batter evenly among my 24 holes of my cupcake tin. And just don't forget that you have used up a little bit of room in there with your buttery biscuit base. So you might find you have a little bit of batter left over. You don't want to fill it up completely. Um, so here I go. So I am now going to bake these at 170 degrees C for about 12 minutes or thereabouts. You want to make sure they're cooked by just touching them on the top and if they spring back nicely, they're ready to go. Gladiators ready! <laughs> Do you remember that? Welcome back. Now my cupcakes are out of the oven and they're cooling down and they're looking pretty lovely and plump. So I'm going to make my buttercream and I'm going to start by putting 100 grams of soft unsalted butter into a bowl, like so, and just mixing that until it is really pale and fluffy using my handheld mixer, which I should have been using earlier. All right, that's lovely and pale. So I'm going to start by adding my uh, icing sugar. I've already sifted it and I've got 225, woo, 225 grams in here. I'm going to put half of it in, give it a good beat, and then stick the other half in and give that a good beat too. Right, so now I just need to put a little bit of liquid. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of milk in, give that a good mix as well. Whee! That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so heavy. Oh, my arthritic old lady hands are not working properly. Seriously, I feel, ah, feel like... Uh, oh. <laughs> And last but not least, I'm going to put in a bit of my toffee that I made earlier. Now this is much more toffee than we need, but it's okay because toffee is yummy. And I highly recommend using your, it for uh, filling cookies or, you know, pudding on ice cream or anything like that because it is delish. But I'm going to start by putting about like a satsuma sized amount into my icing and mixing that through. If it needs a bit more, I will add more. Boink. Right, that's all mixed in. If you feel like you taste it and then it needs a bit more, go ahead and put it in. But that actually, for me, that works really well. So that is your delicious toffee flavoured buttercream. So I'm just going to put that into a piping bag and get on with decorating. <laughs> Damn these machines! It's time. So I've got my lovely toffee buttercream in a piping bag and I've got a star nozzle on it. This one has got about 20 points on it. You can use whatever nozzle you like, up to you. I've also got some of my toffee and I've actually just warmed it up a little bit, put it in a piping bag because I'm going to drizzle that over the top. And it does need to be warmed through because it's quite stiff, this toffee, and it won't drizzle very nicely otherwise. And I've also got <laughs> some um, chocolate shavings to finish it off, so I'm just going to get on with it.
Ooh, they look so yummy. Uh, did you know that a banoffee pie is actually a British invention? So you're welcome, everybody. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. So please give this a go. If you do, take a picture, put it in your Instagram feed, use the hashtag CupcakeGemma so I can see it and maybe feature it on my own Instagram. And if you want 49 other fantastic recipes by yours truly, then you can pick up my book, as mentioned previously, at my website, CupcakeGemma.com, or in store at the shop in Soho. Please come along and buy it, or just buy a cupcake, or just, you know, hang out, whatever. Anyway, see you soon. Yeah, in one. Yes, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <or no>? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>